Thanks for having me, Keith. As we mentioned, in Obama's news conference today, he refuted the implication that his exchange with the famous Mr. Wurzelbacher was in any way antagonistic, suggesting that people go back and look at the original tape. We did. For one thing, it does flatly disprove the McCain, uh, McCain implication that Obama in any way foisted himself upon Joe Wurzelbacher. It was Mr. Wurzelbacher who made his way to the crowd around Obama, through them, and then shouted out a question to which Senator Obama responded. Yes, sir. What's your name? My name is Joe Wurzelbacher. Good to see you, Joe. I'm getting ready to buy a company that <laughs> yeah. uh, makes 200, about 250, 270, 80 thousand dollars a year. All right. Your new tax plan is going to tax me more, isn't it? Well, here's what's going to happen. The uh, if you're a small business, which you would call, yes. right? first of all, you get a 50 percent tax credit, so you get a cut on taxes for your health care. So you would actually get a tax cut on that front. Mm -hmm. If your revenue is above 250, then from the 250 down, your taxes are going to stay the same. It is true that for, say, 250 up from 250 to 300 or so. Well, here's my question. Well, hold on, say, I, I just want to answer your question. The, uh, so, the, uh, so for that additional amount, you'd go from 36 to 39 percent, which is what it was under Bill Clinton. I'm a plumber. We you know, I, I work you know 10, 12 hours a day. Absolutely. And I'm you know buying this company, and I'm going to continue to work that way. Right. Now, if I buy another truck and add right. something else to it, and you know build the company, right. you know I'm getting taxed more and more. Well, you're fulfilling, you're fulfilling, fulfilling the American dream. So well, you're, here, but here's 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 a way of thinking about it. Um, how how long have you been a plumber? How long have you been working? Uh, 15 years. Okay, so over the last 15 years, mm -hmm. when you weren't making 250, you would have been getting a tax cut from me. So you'd actually have more money, which means you would have saved more, which means that you would have gotten to the point where you could build your small business quicker than under the current tax code. So what I'm doing is, you know, project, put yourself back 10 years ago when you were only making whatever, mm -hmm. 60 or 70. Under my tax plan, you would be keeping more of your paycheck. You'd be having lower taxes, which means that you would have saved and gotten to the point where you are faster. Now, look, I don't... Nobody likes high taxes. No, not right? at all. Of course not. So, but what's happened is, is that we end up, we've cut taxes a lot for folks like me who make a lot more than 250. Mm -hmm. We haven't given a break to folks who make less. And as a consequence, the average wage and income for just ordinary folks, the vast majority of Americans, has actually gone down over the last eight years. So all I want to do is, I, I, I've got a net tax cut. The only thing that changes is I'm going to cut taxes a little bit more for the folks who are most in need. And we'll, we'll, for the 5% of the folks who are doing very well, even though they've been working hard, and I understand mm -hmm. that, I appreciate that, I just want to make sure that they're paying a little bit more in order to pay for those other tax cuts. Now, I, I, re I, re I respect the disagreement, but I just want you to be clear. It's not that I want to punish your success. I just want to make sure that everybody who is behind you, that they've got a chance at success, too. Because I, my attitude is that if, if the economy is good for folks from the bottom up, it's going to be good for everybody. If you've got a plumbing business, uh, you're going to be better off if you've got a whole bunch of customers who can afford to hire you. And right now, everybody's so pinched that business is bad for everybody. And, and I think when you spread the wealth around, it's good for everybody. But I, listen, I, I respect what you do, and I respect your question. And the uh, you know, even if I don't go get your vote, I'm still going to be working hard on your behalf because I want to make sure small businesses are what creates jobs in this country, and I want to encourage you. All right? One other thing I didn't mention. Uh, for a small business people, I'm going to eliminate the capital gains tax. So what it means is if, if your business uh, succeeds and let's say you, you know, take it from a $250,000 business to a $500,000 business, that capital gains that you get, uh, we're not going to tax you on it because I want you to grow more. So you're actually going to get some, you may end up, I'd have to look at your particular business, but you might end up paying lower taxes under my plan and my approach than under John McCain's plan. I can't guarantee that because I'd have to take oh, yeah, a look no, at it. Yeah. All right. Thanks for, your, thanks for the question, though. In other words, when the Bush tax cuts expire, Obama wants new tax cuts for people making less than a quarter million. McCain wants to renew those old cuts for those making more. Both spread the wealth. Only one spreads it to the wealthy.